Hello and welcome to this third episode of um, this Blender topic on animating a mesh with or animating mesh objects with uh, an armature. In the previous we copied this one to that and uh, what I would like to do with this one here is that I want to join these two meshes so I'll select those two and then I press Control J and they become one mesh and I can press tab to go into edit mode and I press forward slash to go into local mode so I can only look at these two things here and the, or it's actually one mesh now so that one is selected select those and delete those faces and then go to edge mode and alt right mouse click and shift alt right mouse click and then W and I have loop tools activated in add-ons so I'll use bridge there so now we have one mesh and uh, I can press forward slash we're back and um, tab to go to object mode and then select the armature and turn on pose posi position in and uh, we choose pose mode so now we can uh, I can rotate this turn on the rotator and uh, and since we're not inheriting the the rotation here I want to change it to wire display so we can look at this what that looks like how it's deforming and we can ch choose this bone there and uh, you can see how that follows and of course uh, I'll turn it back to rest position and let's look at this from a weight paint, paint perspective so I'll select the mesh and uh, look at weight paint and you can see that for the second bone all of this is all affected and for the first bone this is what's uh, in effect. So we could possibly try to change that. I don't know that it's going to have that much of a difference right now because this is a, a reasonably uncomplicated scenario but um, we, what we could do is we could say well I would like this in this second bone case I'd rather have it only affect this area 50 percent so we can turn on the the vertex uh, markings here and then I would like to change the weight up here to 0 0.5 and I'll add the strength to one so I want to paint with the full strength uh, and then what I would like to do is just kind of put 50 50 50 over there and uh, then I would like to have uh, zero and uh, paint that so then what you really ha end up doing is just finding these vertices and paint that in Let's see if we can get that okay so that's what you get so this is not a really you know good face or excuse me weight paint uh, scenario it could be better to uh, uh, choose edit mode here and we could maybe refine this mesh a little bit so we have a little bit more to choose from so I'll do control R and uh, do a few divisions there and I could do the same here and the same here okay that so now we have a much more refined mesh not that it maybe matters so much in this case but we go to weight paint again and then look at this and, and let's say we can I would really like to have this bone fully active all the way down to here so I can turn on weight and one and strength this one so I'll just paint this over I'll try that and uh, well, I want the second. Okay, so now we ran into a snag. Uh, we'll open up this in edit mode, and I'll look at the second. Um, 
this um okay so that's what we have so what i could do just as well as white painting is i could just turn on this oh you know see through selector and um, i can do this just box select this here and uh, remove that from the second press eight deselect or select every deselect everything and then select and see okay we're here so that that should be good so let's go over to white paint and see what we got so that looks a lot better looks more like what i would like to have and then we look at first and say yeah that's that's better that's what i would like to have so we'll try that in post mode go over first to object mode select the armature uh, select post mode and uh, let's see what we'll get here oh, we have to have post position okay turn on and you can see how this this um, neck here how it's it's a smoother deform see this arching here that t happens and also if we do this rotate like that uh, you'll see that it will you know have a somewhat more gradual deformation than when we only had one I can turn that one on when we only have like one layer here or one you know just four faces that's not going to be quite as smooth this looks a lot smoother So these are things, when it comes to contiguous meshes, these are things you have to uh, plan for when you create your mesh, that it actually deforms properly. Uh, and uh, there's lots of tutorials on that, especially when you want to create uh, uh, you know, human figures or whatever. Uh, not in this particular series, but all over YouTube and the internet, there's just tons and tons and tons of tutorials on how you make these nice quad models. Uh, and some of them are better, some are not so good. But uh, that the idea is that you try to make a mesh that will stand up to this kind of treatment. That's basically it. Like if you're, if you create something that has a lot of, you know, triangles in it, it's not going to deform really well at all. Uh, go back to this uh, go back to edit mode and select everything and uh, s shade smooth and I can turn on a um, modifier a subdivision surface modifier and um, and I would like to do W and shade smooth. There you go, shade smooth. Now, now we'll take a look at this and go over to object mode and choose this one here and see what we can do. So you really have to look at what's happening in your in your joint here. What's going on with the mesh? And of course now we don't have the materials. So it's going to look not quite as, as good as we would like it to. We can just add a very simple material. Just anything will do, actually. That's it. All we need to do is that, and then we can try to deform it and then take a look through the camera and render it. Okay, no lights. We need to find a light that we can turn on. Uh, just make it hemispherical. That's the simplest way to deal with that. It's okay, so now you can see how how it deforms around that around that join. So that will be a really important uh, issue. You you want to aim for creating models that are animatable, that you can actually deform them properly, so they won't look like squished PVC pipe when you bend it. That is not pretty. So anyway, uh, that's uh, I think. It for this installment I have one more thing I would like to talk about and that's regarding this one here because I would like to change it around too because this is more of a mechanical uh, this is more like a machine type uh, rig uh, and I just would like to show you 
how you can deal with uh, make a make believe joint that is you know somewhat believable because all of this is just make believe in the first place so get used to it um, I look forward to talking to you and uh, this one is over now and the next one comes in a minute thank you and have a good day